Everybody needs a fun hobby. Policeman Shane Fearley from Broken Bow was looking for a new hobby. For this segment of All in a Day's Work, reporter Brian Ganusi visited his workshop and gives us a look. By day, Shane Fiorelli is a Broken Bow police officer, but in his spare time, this garage shop is where you can find him. I mean, you just go out there and it just try and drowns out what's going on, and you just, before you know it, two or three hours has passed, and it's really, really helpful. Shane needed to find a hobby that could help him escape just a bit from the regular stresses of his job. For me, it's really, really cool. You get a blank piece of canvas, essentially, and you get this block of wood, square block of wood, you put it on there, and before you know it, you turn it into something really cool. And what's really nice, like I said, I go back to, it's, it's handmade. So handmaking things is kind of a lost art, and I think that's why we enjoy it, is because it is different. Lacey and Shane have designed and made all sorts of different items, from pepper grinders, vases, duck calls, and a big variety of small toothpick, match, or just whatever holders. Actually got contacted by Better Homes and Gardens in December. Um, they found us on Etsy at that point. And so we thought, oh, okay, well, you know, maybe we have something going here. So we started really doing a lot more in January of this year. And it just kind of took off from there. Lacey comes up with all the new color combinations and designs, like this unique dye coloring system she created. And of course, Shane handles the lathe work. The main lathe that Shane uses was originally owned by his grandfather. He says it continues to give him inspiration with each new project. When Grandpa passed away, uh, my dad took it over and it ended up in his garage. When I was looking for something to do, I just never, never worked with a lathe before in my life. And I brought it home and started messing with it and I was instantly hooked. To have something of my grandfather's like that is just something I want to keep in the family forever. 50-year-old blade is still works just as good as the new one, so. <laughs> they also purchased a small lathe for making all sorts of different variety of pens. And they have made a lot of pens from both acrylic or wood square pen blanks that they order online. The ironic thing with it is you look at it initially and you think, oh, wow, that's pretty, or oh, wow, that's kind of ugly. I don't think I'm going to like it. But the problem is, is when you turn it down on the lathe, what you see on the outside at first is not what you get to the middle. And so a lot of times everything we do is a mystery, um, sometimes even more beautiful than we could have even imagined. You know, every day I'm proud of what he has accomplished in his full-time job. Um, you know, we are high school sweethearts, so I have seen him grow so much over the years. This hobby is our chance to really bring that time together, and that's why I enjoy it. While this little business has been a great project for the two of them, they someday hope to pass it along to their two children, including Grandpa's leg. Shane did add a speed control to the machine, but he says he sees no reason to ever replace the unit itself. There's all kinds of newer and better stuff, but I just can't part with Grandpa's lathe. It's just that memory of it being his and my dad's and something I want to hold on to as him being, being there with me. Reporting from Broken Bow, I'm Brian Ganuzzi. Thanks, Brian. For more information on these creations and a link to their Etsy site, please head to the story on our website, Nebraska.tv.